Today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite chicken recipe for the summertime. It's low and slow barbecued chicken. And it's not the barbecued chicken most people are accustomed to. We're not going to use the grill. We're actually going to use the oven and take care of it all indoors. The key to this is to start with a spice rub or a paste, and I'm going to make that now. I've got some dark brown sugar. I have some salt. I have some of our barbecue spice that has, uh, it's got garlic, it's got brown sugar, it has salt, it's got some chili powder in it, and it's really going to give us that smokiness that we're not going to get from the grill. I'm going to finish it off with, I'm sure you could have guessed, some basting oil. We use this in every recipe, but we like it a lot. It's got the garlic, it's got the thyme, and that's really going to help dampen the sugar and help make our paste. And I'm just going to take my whisk and blend this all together so it forms a nice paste. And what I have here in front of me is, uh, it's a cut up chicken. We sell them already cut up. It's a whole chicken just already cut up into the pieces for you. This recipe actually calls for two packages of chicken. I'm just going to show you with one today. So we've got our paste. We'll take our chicken. It's going to go right into the bowl. Then we're going to take just a pair of tongs. And we really want to just toss this to coat it. We want this spice rub to be all over the chicken because this is really where all of our flavor is coming from. So we'll toss this up, and you want to do this ahead of time. You're looking for about six to eight hours of marinating time to really allow those flavors to set. So what I'll do is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and I have one that I've already marinated earlier. So you let this sit covered, and then you can see what I have here is it has a chance to sit. You can really see that the sugar has had a chance to liquefy. All the herbs are all over the chicken. We know we're going to get great flavor out of everything. So I have a baking sheet here. I'm going to take my chicken and just set it down on my baking sheet. And in the meantime, I've preheated my oven to 275 degrees. So we'll set our chicken out on our tray. And you can really see here that we've got the coating all over. Cooking chicken on the bone really allows the moistness of the chicken to shine through. And we want to do this skin side up. And we'll set that there. We're going to take a walk over to the oven again, 275 degrees. And it's going to stay in the oven for two hours. By cooking for two hours, the, the, the dark meat's definitely going to cook, become tender. All the spices are going to have a chance to set. But we also know that our white meat is going to remain nice and moist and juicy. And after about two hours, this is what your chicken's going to look like. You can see all the sugar has really started to brown the chicken. We've got all this beautiful color. The only issue is that the skin's not really as crispy as I would like it to be. So I've, go, I've set my oven to broil, and what we're going to do is we're going to just transfer this to a clean sheet, and we're going to go back into the oven for about 10 minutes on broil. And we want to make sure that we're putting it down on the bottom rack of the oven because there is so much sugar in our marinade that we want to make sure that it doesn't burn. So back into the oven we go on broil, and again, we're going to go right into the bottom rack and let that broil for 10 minutes until that skin gets really crispy. And Now this is true, authentic barbecue, low and slow. Today I'm going to be serving it with a vinegar potato salad, the recipe. You can just click on the link underneath this video and access the recipe, but it's barbecue. It's whatever you want it to be. It could be macaroni salad, baked beans, coleslaw, whatever you think is barbecue is going to go great. In the end, it's just barbecued chicken. So after 10 minutes, we're going to pull our chicken right out of our oven. And you can see that the skin is crisped up. You can hear it. It's very, very crispy. It's delicious. And to me, this is picnic food. I just take it on a platter. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to set it all. Some people like drumsticks. Some people like thighs. All the meat is still on the bone. It's delicious. It's low and slow. Barbecued chicken. Enjoy it at home. It's great. Thank you.